At the upper chamber, President of the Senate, Gotswila Pabio, has declared two senatorial seats vacant following the resignation of David Omahi, representing a point south, and Ibrahim Gaydam, representing Yobe East. The seats became vacant after the appointment of David Omahi as Minister of Works and Ibrahim Gaydam as Minister of Police Affairs. The declaration would enable INEC to conduct elections into Yobe East Senatorial District and Eboyin South Senatorial seats. I hereby declare the seats of Eboyin South Senatorial District of Eboyin State and that of Yobe East Senatorial District of Yobe State vacant. This declaration is in accordance with Section 68 Subsection 1D of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999. Following the assumption of office as ministers of the government of the Federation by the previous occupants of those two seats, Senator Dave Umaye and Distinguished Senator Gaidam Ibrahim, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, may therefore wish to commence the process of conducting by-elections to fill the vacancies immediately. Simon Lalong is now the senator representing Plateau South after his victory at the court. He replaces Napoleon Bali at the Red Chamber. Senator Lalong was sworn in at the beginning of Wednesday's plenary in a brief ceremony performed by the clerk of the Senate. National Assembly correspondent Tijesu Adewi has details. The new lawmaker, who is a lawyer and two-term speaker of Plateau State House of Assembly and also served as Minister of Labor and Employment in President Tinubu's federal cabinet, tendered his resignation privately to the president after last Wednesday's Federal Executive Council meeting at the presidential villa, Abuja. Congratulations. The newly sworn in Senator, the Senior Senator Simon Lalong, for this epoch making achievement. So while he is moving around, uh, exchanging banters with his colleagues, I want to wish him a very peaceful stay in the 10th Senate. Recall that the appeal court seating in Abuja had on the 7th of November affirmed that Senator Lalong, the erstwhile governor of Plateau State and the director general of Tinubu's presidential campaign organization in the February 25 election, was a winner of the election. The victory of Senator Lalong and some other contestants in the 2023 general elections was after the appeal court sacked all the candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who were declared winners by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in the February 25 National Assembly elections. T.J. Suadiri, TVC News, Abuja. All right, let's now take you through a graphic illustration of the journey of Senator Simon Lalong to the Senate. 